What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am finally doing a video on the VAT refund process when it comes to shopping in Paris. I believe that this applies for all of Europe, but specifically for this video, I am taking my experience from shopping in Paris to bring back to the United States. I am going to be talking about the shopping process, a little bit of a mini haul, and then just give you a rundown on what's the tea when it comes to a VAT refund if you are not a member of the European Union. So we're going to get started. I have my second cup of coffee for the day. If you want to grab yours, a snack, whatever you want, let's do it. If you're new here, my name is Lilith Lenore and I do these kinds of luxury fashion related videos on Thursdays. On Mondays, I upload vlogs where you get a glimpse into my daily life. Travel vlogs are coming back, got wedding planning things, and then going to the city. So if you like the vibe, you like the energy, please hit that subscribe button as well as notifications bell so that you never post new videos. And also feel free to check me out on Instagram and TikTok as well. Sorry about the lighting, it's a cloudy day, so the sun's kind of going in and out, but let's hope it cooperates for this video for the most part. So for the first part, I'll give you a rundown on why shopping is just better in Paris. So the prices themselves are just far less compared to what they are in the US. And then because you are a tourist in Europe, you are exempt from paying their taxes there. So there's this whole VAT refund process. You get a form when you're checking out and you basically keep that until you get to the airport and then your refund gets processed after you leave Europe. So I will be doing a little bit of a mini haul and I'll show you guys the prices um, side by side just so you guys can get an idea of how much these savings actually are. The first thing I'm gonna show you is going to be this Goyard bag. So this is not mine. I picked this up for my cousin. Don't know the name of this. I will have the name and the information down below. And this is the price difference. They do not have a Goyard in the Philippines. So, I mean, the pricing is also just much better for Goyard compared to US and Paris. Marco got the saddle for men and that bag is just such a great kind of everyday casual bag for him to wear. It goes really great with his style. And then the other thing that I have is in here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a mini unboxing really quickly before I continue on with the refund just because I do wanna show you guys already. And this is just kind of like a thank you gift and I love being able to do what I do and have you guys support. So this one is in here. I did a poll on the community tab about sunglasses or a card holder or wallet and you guys chose this one. So I had to snag up this one which I was so glad that I found in Paris. It is the Chanel Classic Card Holder Gold Hardware um, Caviar. Uh, it's a beautiful card holder and I'm so excited to be able to give you guys one of these. I'm gonna fix this later and I'll go into the details of the giveaway a little bit later at the end of this video. So just keep watching. To continue on with the VAT refund process. Basically you're shopping, you hand them your passport, you hand them the car that you're paying with. The charge happens in euros and then on my statement it gets converted to US. My credit card doesn't charge me foreign transaction fees, which is great. I always recommend if you are shopping overseas, make sure you're using a card that doesn't charge you foreign transaction fees because those can add up. Basically, you check out, you have your item, and you are given a form. So you can choose to keep all your packaging if you want, you can toss them, whatever, but hang on to that form and your receipt. At the airport, that's when you are going to look for the detax station. I think that's what it's called. We'll include a photo over here. I think I have one from one of my previous trips. And essentially you line up and get to these machines and you're basically just going to scan your form and it's going to tell you whether it's approved or not. It'll give you a check mark or an X mark. If it's a check mark, you are good to go. If there's an X, you need to see the customs agent because you need to give them the form and then show them the items just to make sure that you are actually bringing those things out of the country with you, I guess. Uh, so that is the next step. You board your flight, you fill out your customs form. Mark and I got ours at the beginning of the flight and we had basically until we landed to fill it out. So once you land, you have to go through customs and you hand it to the customs officer. They ask you if you need to declare anything. And because of the amount I am declaring all my items, I always do just 
to be safe because I have heard stories people getting found out and then they get fined and then you're gonna get blacklisted and they're always gonna check you and it's just a longer process when you land in the states so I always declare and on this form you're going to list out the items and you're going to put the price and for the price I always put it after um, the refund so I just total that up and then when Mark when I land we get our things I see the customs officer I show them the form they take a look at the receipts and sometimes they'll give you okay this is the import duties that you need to pay on these items I've been also just waved right on through despite being over the limit so that is just something to keep in mind per person you are allowed $800 worth of goods before you need to declare so between Marco and I because we were traveling together our total allocated amount was like $1,600 and essentially from the total that I had they deducted what I was allowed and charged me duties based on that total amount instead. That was pretty much it and then we just were waved right on through and we landed and here we are. When you are doing the VAT refund form they ask you if you are going to be doing card or cash. So when you do a cash refund it's typically about 10% and then when you are doing a card refund it's either 12 to 13%. So just to give you guys an idea um, all of these things were credit card. So to give you guys an example of this process, I'll use one of the forms. So this one was for the belt that I bought at Hermes. The leather piece was 325 and the VAT on that particular piece is 54.17. Out of that total amount of the tax, I am going to get 32.50 back on my card. So this one was about 10% for this particular piece. Um, it will range what the refund is. So you just ask them like, oh, how much is it? It's typically 10 to 13%. Some places are 12% back on your card. Some are 13%. So it just really depends. I will say that if you have an earlier flight, the cash refund gets tricky because the cashier isn't always open. With the card refund, it could take longer. Sometimes it's two weeks. Sometimes it could be a couple of weeks. But I've always gotten my refunds when it came back to my card. And the process now is also a lot easier compared to when I first went to Paris back in 2016. I remember that time I literally had to mail forms and I had to track the number online by manually entering it. Nowadays they give you an email and you can track it through a link so yeah it's just a lot more convenient and I mean the prices again are still just so much better. And now for this little giveaway I just wanted to say thank you again to all of you for all of your love and support so I I'm so excited that I was able to find this in Paris because SLGs have been really hard to find and you know, I had to bring a souvenir back for you guys. And so for this one, just leave a comment down below. I'm not super specific, just please leave your IG handle down below. Um, be following me on this channel, on all my platforms if you can. Um, and yeah, leave your IG handle. I will pick it at random. I don't know when I'm announcing it yet. Minimum, I'll give it a week. I will be opening this up to the US or Canada. Yeah, just leave something nice down below. And like, it doesn't have to be something nice to me. It could be something nice that happened to you or anything like that. Um, I would love to gift you guys a Chanel card holder. I really, really love this one and I'm so glad that I found it because the caviar ones have been hard to find and in gold it's been hard to find so um was just meant to be so if you leave that comment down below with your ig handle that'd be great i will pick it at random and yeah i just hope that this helps brighten up the end of your year and you know i just always appreciate you guys so much for all of your love and support and I love being able to show you that appreciation through these giveaways. So that is essentially it for this video. Hopefully it helped and it wasn't too confusing. I get so flustered with these story times and how to's because I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that is all. I need to go give Wade some attention because he's just hanging out downstairs and I will see you guys in the next video. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
so 